what's up? I'm gonna be bleaching my hair again because that's what I do. Bleaching all my hair. I'm not just bleaching my top layer hair. My daughter's playing with my hair while I do my little intro, by the way. If you see like little hands. Hi. Um, it's mom life. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to be bleaching my hair. Hope this video is helpful. I'm going to be using today is the Quick Blue. I totally suggest this one. This one really, really lifts your hair super quickly and it takes the bronze out. It's a really, really good bleach, guys. I use my Claro Professionals uh, Pure White developer and this is in 30. Of course, this is strong. If you have thinner hair, I would always suggest that you go volumes down they have volume 10 they have 20 they have 25 if you have thin hair i would suggest doing 20 or 10. me i have thicker hair so i could go for 30. i want it strong because i want it to lift my hair quick that's why we're going to do that before i start bleaching i need to comb it because it's it is knotty a little bit i had it out so it's going to look more fluffier than what it is because it's a fluff ball right now it's always smart to kind of brush out your hair before you start bleaching Okay, my camera had died, or my camera overheated or whatever, but I made my bleach. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on because if you've ever messed with bleach and you've gotten it on your skin, you know that shit burns. And if you haven't messed with bleach, guess what? When that sh hits your skin, it burns. So just regular clinical gloves. I'm a little fluff ball right now, so let's see how this goes. Um... How do I want to do this first? I think I want to split it up a little bit first before I start. Um, I use those bean chas that you know I love. So I think I'm going to split it more into like um, a four piece. So I'm just going to go split it to two. Yeah. It's going to look like that with four pieces. I think that's smart. I don't know. That's not smart. Maybe I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out my pick a -boo. Um... I'm gonna bleach that section first. I really want it to be a certain way, so I gotta really, really play it smart. I'm gonna brush this part first, and then I'm gonna start bleaching. Put that back there. Oh, this is, see, this is why I don't, I kinda did a lot, but I don't know. Is this is supposed to be this, like, isn't it supposed to be more creamier? See, that's why I don't go by the direction. Let me just make it a little bit more clean. Oh my god, this is the last bit of developer I have. I just put a little bit more cream developer. So it was just like very stiff and I just, I don't feel comfortable putting stiff bleach onto my hair. I don't know. So this is like more of like the consistency that I'm looking for. So if it's, if it's too stiff and it doesn't feel like this, then just add some more developer, guys. Okay, so let's start bleaching. I'm gonna regret my whole life right now. Whatever. See my little nephew dog. Not to kind of like not have it like a straight line, like this way when you're dyeing your hair. What I've seen on Instagram because I follow a lot of hair pages to get my inspo from. Um, what they always suggest to other hairstylists is that when you're doing your shaft, like you could do like bold here, but when you get up here, you kind of want to just like. Put your brush sideways and kind of um, like blend it in that way. You want it to look faded into like an ombre kind of effect even though I'm not doing an ombre because it just looks better when my hair, when I do my hair. I'm not being super even and I'm also not putting my ends in yet because it just causes more breakage when you let the bleach sit there for too long. So I'm actually going to save all my ends. I'm going to look like a little poodle, but that's all good because my ends, I'll put bleach in after I'm done bleaching all of this. That way my ends are not getting the super harshness. Oh, um, I got some bleach on my... Yeah, can you give me a napkin? Sure. I don't want to get bleach on my bangs. I kind of like them dark. So... To make sure I don't get any bleach on them. Yeah, these are my bangs. I had bangs last year. I'm always doing something with my hair. I get so bored with my hair. 
and because hair is hair, it's just like, let's do something. Like, oh my god, I got it on my nose. I always need to do something with my hair. I always need to do something with myself. Like, that's just like story of my life. I don't think it was recording this whole time. Wow. Okay, so I don't know how much recorded, but I just finished bleaching my hair. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in for like about an hour. Um, I'm gonna see how it looks. So it's been 50 minutes now, and this is how my hair is looking. Um, it's looking kind of white, but I kind of want to leave it in for like another five minutes. Um, because I really, really, really want it to cancel out the green. It looks like it did, but I'm gonna keep it in for another five minutes so that I'm almost guaranteed that it's done, I guess. You know? I don't know <laughs> if keeping it on for those extra five minutes was good because my hair is so fried right now. Today is truly beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do. Ooh, I need my deep conditioner. You, you see my hair? I like it. You like it? Yeah, just got your whole head. No, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> my God. You think we should call Julian? Conditioning shampoo, and it's the Clairol knockoff. We basically use this shampoo and. Yeah. I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm not gonna use a brush or anything fancy. I'm not being the most smartest person. Um, doing it this way. It's spilling everywhere. It's literally all over me. But I'm still going to do it because I already started. So. batteries for it but I never charged the other battery and it seems like every time I want to record it's like my battery is not charged. I always like record really like random clips of life. I really want to put like a little vlog together. A little vlog in my life with my loved ones. Right now I'm separating and just making sure I get all the strands in there since we're all purpled up and lavendered up. Oh! Oh goodness gracious. Oh, my genius self. Are you staying blue or are you going a different color? Going a different color. Earrings. You see how it's stuck on my earring? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. You see it? It's like still stuck on my ear. Uh, talk about how my hair came out. My hair isn't in the greatest shape but this is it naturally. Like I said my hair looks so shitty right now. Okay but I have other clips where I actually did my hair and my hair looks much better. But um yeah I think it came out so good. 
I'm so happy that I took the chance in doing something crazy like this to myself. It was a journey, but we're here. And I am i don't think I'm a bleach anymore because I think I got it the color that I want. Everybody's always complimenting me, telling me, oh, you got your hair. Oh, my God. So I have no makeup on, but whatever. I just put lip gloss on. That was it. That's cool. It's all good. We're doing the natural. I don't regret it at all. Like, I love it. Now the next thing is just trying to heal my hair as much as possible. Um, there's this, like, recipe that I found that I want to try out and it helps promote hair growth and heals your hair. So I'm going to try that mixture and I'll probably do, like, a little update on that and see how that comes out with my hair. I don't know why I have you, like, positioned like this. It's, like, really awkward. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. I will say I'm a believer in letting people be people. If you're humble and conceited, I still see you as a nigga. I don't be taking offenses to how the devil be working. I know that God is my witness. Fulfilling my purpose. I've been a real down the